It was a stormy night, the kind that makes you want to curl up under a warm blanket and forget about the world outside. Sarah, a college student living alone in a small apartment, decided to order some comfort food to accompany her through the storm. She dialed the number for her favorite Chinese restaurant and placed her usual order, sweet and sour chicken with fried rice. An hour passed, and Sarah's stomach growled impatiently. She checked her phone to see if she had missed any notifications, but there were none. Just as she was about to call the restaurant to inquire about her order, there was a knock at the door. Sarah's heart skipped a beat as she hurried to answer it. Standing outside, her door was a delivery person, their face obscured by the hood of their rain-soaked jacket. Sarah thanked them and took the brown paper bag containing her food, but as she closed the door and turned to carry the food to her kitchen, she noticed something odd. The bag felt heavier than usual, and there was a strange odor emanating from it. Curiosity got the better of her, and Sarah cautiously opened the bag. To her horror, she found not the expected Chinese takeout, but a collection of rotten vegetables and spoiled meat. Disgusted and unnerved, she threw the bag away and resolved to never order from that restaurant again. But as the storm raged on outside, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that someone or something had been watching her from the shadows. The Midnight Cravings Jake had been working late at the office, buried beneath a mountain of paperwork that seemed never-ending. By the time he finally finished and headed home, the streets were deserted and the only sound was the echo of his footsteps against the pavement. Exhausted and hungry, Jake decided to order a pizza to be delivered to his apartment. As he waited for his food to arrive, Jake tried to shake off the feeling of unease that had settled over him. It felt like he was being watched, like there were eyes lurking in the darkness just beyond his line of sight. When the doorbell rang, Jake jumped startled by the sudden sound. He opened the door to find the pizza delivery person standing on his doorstep, holding out a steaming box of pizza. Jake paid for his order and eagerly took the box, already salivating at the thought of sinking his teeth into a slice of cheesy goodness. But as he lifted the lid, his appetite vanished in an instant. Inside the box was not a delicious pizza, but a gruesome sight that turned Jake's stomach. The toppings writhed and squirmed, pulsating as if alive. Horrified, Jake slammed the lid shut and threw the box away, unable to shake the feeling of revulsion that lingered long after the delivery person had disappeared into the night. The Haunted Menu Emily had just moved into her new apartment and hadn't had a chance to stock up on groceries yet. Hungry and tutorate to cook, she decided to order takey out from a nearby restaurant. She browsed through the online menu, her mouth watering at the sight of all the delicious options. After much deliberation, Emily settled on a simple cheeseburger and fries. She placed her order and waited anxiously for her food to arrive. When the delivery person finally knocked on her door, Emily eagerly opened it, her stomach grumbling with anticipation. But as she reached for the bag containing her meal, Emily froze in horror. The menu she had ordered from lay inside the bag, its pages stained with blood and torn as if in a struggle. Frantically, Emily searched the bag for her food, but all she found was a single, blood-soaked note. It read, You shouldn't have ordered from here. We're coming for you. Emily's heart pounded in her chest as she realized she was not alone in her apartment. She turned to run, but it was too late. The darkness swallowed her whole, leaving behind nothing but a chilling silence, broken only by the sound of approaching footsteps.